Welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is C on a Mission with week two, update to the September shirt. So let's go over whether I did everything I needed to do around the September shred. The first rule is to drink your body weight in water. I still have a problem with that. I'm a big girl. I can't drink that much water, but I did better. I probably reached uh, around about mm, around about 80 ounces of water a day. So I did do better when it comes when it came to the water. Um, still not body weight. It's just too much water for me. <laughs> um, but I did do better. So doing better is is pretty good. So sugar, added sugar. I did better with that this week than I did the previous week. Um, so this one, I was able to stay away from the added sugar on this. So added sugar, not so much of a problem this week. I was able to stick with that rule around the added sugar. Exercise, again, exercise for some reason, I guess because I'm, I'm starting to enjoy exercise. Believe it or not, I was a person who could not stand sweating. So exercise was something I didn't like. Since I've been on this weight loss journey for almost two years now, um, I kind of like that. I kind of like whether it's out hiking um, or just going out and jogging, as I say, my jogging, which maybe to other people look like a run. I mean, look like a fast walk, but I jog. So I'm enjoying going out. I used to do all my exercise on my treadmill. So I'm enjoying the jogging and the weather definitely helps because so hot. I'm in Philadelphia, so it is not so hot. So the weather is perfect to get out and do things, whether it's just walking or jogging or whatever activity you choose to do. But because of the cooling down of the temperature, it is good. So with this week, um, week two, I did better with the sugar. So the added sugar, I did not have an issue with. I tend to go through periods where I want sugar and then I want savory things. And I think this week was more or less savory. So sugar, me not um, doing the added sugar was pretty good. And also I didn't have like a family gathering that um, kind of, you notice that we eat a lot when we're with family. Most family, most family gatherings is around food. I'm, I'm, I'm learning this, you know. This is, for some reason, I get to a point where, oh, here come a family gathering, whether it's holidays and stuff, and everything's around food. And when you're trying to go on a weight loss journey, or when you're just trying to maintain your weight and be healthy, you, you kind of like, oh, you cringe when you know it's that family gathering, because sometimes, during a family gathering, you don't have, you don't feel that you're in control because you tend to do things that you know you should not do. But that's a whole nother topic. So sugar for this week was pretty good um, for me. Um, around the exercise, exercise was pretty good. Um, again, I am a person who kind of loves being active. Never was a person who loved being active, but now I do. I used to hate sweat for some reason. But, you know, as a big girl, maybe a big girl hates sweating. I don't know. But I used to be one of those that could not stand sweating, so I used to hate exercise. Now, um, being two years on my weight loss journey, um, most of my two years I did, believe it or not, just on a treadmill, you know, working out with a fast run type of situation. So I kind of loved exercise. I actually get to a point when I miss a day, I um, uh, feel, feel bad. Not saying it makes sense, but that's just me. This is me, so, you know. So um, one day I did have to miss one of my um, my um, exercise days because I had a dentist appointment. But I definitely the next day I was back on there. So I actually went out and um, job three days this week. Um, probably gonna make it a fourth day um, tomorrow. I'll probably jog tomorrow, so that'll be Monday, I think. Um, so I'm really enjoying that. Also, with the jogging I, and everything else along with my week two, I was able to go down two pounds. I weighed myself, so I'm down two pounds. So that's a good thing. 
better than last week because last week I did, the scale did not move. This week I am down two pounds, so it's a good thing. Uh, also, I wanted along with the update on the September shred, also kind of bring up some of the topics and things that I do uh, that is part of my weight loss journey, whether it's the intimate fasting that I do or just things I um, eat and the way I eat and um, my, as I put in one of my previews, where I own, I do a 24 eating type schedule. I feast for four hours and I fast for 20 and I do that every day. Like I said, that's not a diet for me. This is just the way I find that works for me. Believe fasting, which most people know fasting around either spiritual or around their belief, but fasting keeps you focused. Fasting gives you that clarity in your mind. Um, I find when I first started fasting, going to work, and most people say it's hard to fast when you're going to work. Actually, it's easy to fast when you're working because you don't have to worry about stopping for lunch. You don't have to worry about finding something for breakfast. You have either, I'm a coffee drinker, I have coffee or water, and I stay focused. It gives me that clarity that I, I enjoy. It gives me that energy that I enjoy. It keeps me going, so I do I miss it? And you know, my eating window currently now is from, starts at 6 p.m. and it ends at 10 p.m. So from most of my fasting is sleep. You know, at 10 p.m., do I wake up, and once I wake up, I go to work, and I have water, and I have a cup of coffee. I try not to go over two cups of coffee because, you know, coffee is good for you, but too much of anything is not. So I do have maybe a cup or two in a day, but I do strictly stay with water. Sometimes I do Perrier water, seltzer water. It has to be, if you're in a true fasting state, you have to have no calories. So um, a true fasting state is no calories, so I try to stay with water. Um, but with during my feasting window, I do stay low carb as possible. I stay away from the, um, the pasta, the um, grains, and stuff like that. Um, just as my, I try to stay away from those, I do vegetable alternatives, which um, some of the things I would like to bring up where um, you see a lot of people doing it nowadays is versus rice versus cauliflower. You can replace most of your rice dishes with cauliflower. You can replace your mashed potatoes with cauliflower. If you notice in the markets, you have now think frozen vegetables and cauliflower. Um, I think bird's eye has a cauliflower. But to replace rice, you can use cauliflower, and it's pretty good. I even done a, a fake mac and cheese with cauliflower, which is pretty good. If you want to know or want me to show you, just you know, put it in the comments below. Here's another pasta replacement. Um, most people know about the spiralizer that you know on the infomercials and stuff like that. Yes, uh, remember I'm an Amazon person, so I buy these things. So I replace pasta with my spiralizer, which I'll use zucchini as pasta replacement. Just, I mean, zucchini, whether you want to cook, I opt to keep it raw with the regular sauce with meatball and that. Um, some people cook their zucchini. I mean, it's, again, it's up to your taste, but vegetables can replace some of your pasta. Also, I use um, um, spaghetti squash to replace my pasta. That also tastes good as a kind of big spaghetti and meatball type of dish. Also, if I can show you how to do that, I can put that in um, as a video if you want, if you're interested. But you have many different replacements to help you um, eat better. Um, also, I don't buy um, pasta sauce. I make my own pasta sauce. I have a Nutribullet, so I buy either tomatoes, and you have the different herbs and stuff that you can make your own pasta sauce. Um, this, this way you know what's in your pasta sauce. So I opt to not to buy pasta sauce. I buy canned tomatoes. Sometimes during, if it's during the winter and I want pasta sauce, I'll buy a can of diced tomatoes and make my own pasta sauce again.
liquid, your Nutribullet. So it's different ways you can do to eat clean or healthy. I mean, either way, some people call it clean, some people call it healthy. But I think it's just being interested in doing something better. Again, I talked before, it's all about learning. You're constantly learning. Even at 52, you still are learning. You should always be learning. Even, um, you never stop learning. Whether you, every day should be something new you learn. So let's not be stagnant. Let's learn. Whether you choose to learn book knowledge or just life knowledge and just as we grow, we learn. You cannot grow without learning. So with all that being said, this was around my update to the September Strad and also some insight on how I eat and try to eat cleanly. I don't do it all the time. I'm not perfect at it. I have my slips and things like that, but I always get back on track. You know, you have those, and we don't call them cheat days. You have those days that you enjoy yourself, and then you have those days when you get back on track. Here's a tip. Just, again, one of the things that make you go, hmm, do you ever wonder why the hospital gives you jello? Do you ever, ever think about that? Why the hospital, of all places, when you're in the hospital, they give you jello? I didn't. I kind of looked it up. I'm like, you know, when you're in the hospital, they always give you jello. That's like the last thing you want after an operation or whatever, but they give you jello. It's like, hmm. So I look, jello has amino acids in it. Well, I did not know that. Gelatin has amino acids, which helps your bone and helps your body heal. That's why, no matter, almost, no matter what kind of operation you have, the first thing, if when they say that you can't have anything to eat and you're trying to get you back on salads or you're still on liquids, they give you jello. It's because jello, believe it or not, is good for you. It has the amino acid in it, which helps your bone and your body heal. Look that up. I just kind of Googled it and I did YouTube on it. I'm like, hmm, thank you want to thank. Also, I wanted to send out prayers to the people who are affected from the hurricane. Um, we pray for you that everything works out for you. I just wanted to put that in there that, you know, let's not forget our family and that's down in Texas. I have family in Texas too. So, you know, do whatever you can, whether it's mean donate money to any kind of organization out there. But let's remember our family. Um, and family, we have family around the world. That's just every every human being is a family to you. But you know, that's our immediate family and everyone down in Texas. We pray for you. Pray for everything works out. Um, but let's just remember the people in Texas and what they're going through. So keep them in your prayers. Hi, this is C on a mission. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the September Shred Week Two and some helpful hints on maybe eating clean and um, going on a, a healthy journey when it comes to food and, think, and life in general. And also maybe that jello hint helped you. Maybe you never thought of it either, but I found it interesting, so I thought I'll throw it in on the video. So if you find something interesting, put it down in the comments below. I'm a person who loves to research and find out new things. These are one of the tips that I gave you today. So jello is good for you. And now you know why the hospital always gives you jello. But until the next time, enjoy yourself. This is C in the Mission, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.